Well, howdy. Welcome to the Double M Farm. This will be a quick update since I've had several people ask. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. I've had a lot of uh, off-the-farm things I've had to take care of with family. So it's been a little busy, but nothing that anyone would be interested in a video of. So I thought I'd give you a quick update on how the pond's doing. For those who haven't been keeping up with our, I think, about 15-part series on building the farm pond with the Harbor Freight Trencher and the Japanese Mini Truck, I invite you to go back on our channel and search it out and find part one and have a look and see the difference in then and now. This is where we are. We've got fish in it. I've put about a dozen bluegill in there that I've caught from local ponds, or well, excuse me, local lakes, and released in there, and I keep seeing them. They seem to be doing well. But uh, this is the end of phase one of the farm pond build. Let's see how well I can walk here without shaking the camera too much. Uh, got it all raked off and leveled out and smoothed out around the banks. The dam is still packing and settling. Got me a nice little shady spot here that I sit and enjoy the sunshine on the pond. It's amazing how much life just shows up when there's water. You create a big water source, and the more water source you create, the more life you start generating. Uh, crawfish, turtles, tadpoles, uh, the fish, of course, I put in there myself. But everything else has just shown up on its own. Of course, we've got raccoons walking it at night. Uh, they come up out of the swamp back in the back. That will be the next project. In the wintertime, we'll be logging and cleaning that out for phase two of the pond. But I uh, don't know if you can tell. We've got about six foot of water over on the, the deep end. Comes up to about three foot here at the dam. I purposely sloped it up this way uh, to help control any leaks and uh, I know the sun's tearing the camera up probably but uh, it's doing well I'm just stacking bags of concrete I've done this before and you can see about once a week I stack another layer. I've been doing it gradually to let the pond settle in and pack the dirt in the bottom, the soil, and the sides, rather than just stack it up and try to fill it up quickly overnight. I've been doing it gradually. So it's been about a, a week since I put that last layer, so now I'll come and put another concrete bag right there where the water's spilling in the middle. I'm trying to get my finger on it and uh, then build up either side again and i do it one layer at a time so it raises it about six or eight inches each time the thickness of the bag of concrete those are 60 pound bags at 68 years old that's about all i want to handle is 60 pound bags but again as you can see the uh i took the little ford 1210 tractor and scrape blade and scraped all this out and I've got one stump right there that I'd like to get rid of. I may bring the Harbor Freight Trencher back down here and dig it out. Because then I could drive around this tree. Because my plans are to clean this out during the winter. And be able to drive all the way to the back of the property along the fence line here. There you can see the fence. Our old, our old fence used to be on the other side of... The pond right there at that stump, that was our old property line and fence. Now our new property line is behind me. Right there. It goes all the way up to the front of the property. We basically bought about an acre of land here to uh, be able to do this in addition to what we already had. It's a, a strip about 60 foot wide, about closer to 70 foot wide I think it was. But it is working out extremely well. I couldn't be any more pleased at how well it's done. 
And like I say, I've got about six foot of water right there, deep. And it angles up till you get to the uh, spillway there. It's about three foot deep at the moment. And as I keep stacking the bags up, it will keep getting deeper. Now my plans are to raise the water level up to about that, uh, let's see on camera here, that last concrete bag right there. That's about how high I'm planning on raising the water level for now. And then we'll let it winter and see how it does. And then in the spring, we may start doing some more. One thing I am going to do as soon as possible is take out these little poplar saplings here and go ahead and dig this on out to about here. And make the pond a little bit bigger on this upper end. Um, and it's just wasted space there. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig it out because this is where I drive. This is my path to come in and out to the little bridge over there. So we'll just dig that out right there. Take those trees out, bring the Harbor Freight Trencher and Dumpy, the Japanese mini truck in here and dig that out. And yes, I will film it. I'll get that on video. A lot of people like to watch the Harbor Freight Trencher digging and specially loading the Japanese mini truck. So my plans are to dig that out. I will, I'm also planning on right there where the chair is sitting. I think I'm going to dig this out some more as well, just because of the natural slope right there. I think I'm going to dig that this way a little bit, kind of round that out a little more. And then this spot right here, trying to figure out the best way to get a view of it with the sun. Anyhow, I'll dig that out a little bit towards the chair that way and kind of round that off a little right here. Uh, just shape it up a little more. So, that's where we are. We have fish. We have crawfish. We have turtles. We have frogs and tadpoles. So, the, uh, the little spring-fed farm pond dug by the Harbor Freight Trencher and the Japanese mini truck is doing well. I thank you for visiting us here on the Double M Farm and look forward to seeing you next time.